the RoboTutor team is very diverse in exactly the right ways. Informally, it's Carnegie Mellon as a center of gravity of an international team. My name is Jack Mostow, and I am very proud and honored to lead the RoboTutor team. I've had over 150 volunteers from Carnegie Mellon, from other universities in the United States, from universities in other countries. RoboTutor builds on decades of research on human learning and instruction. It is powered by automated recognition of writing and automatic recognition of speech. <laughs> I don't think any of the other finalists use speech recognition to listen to the child read aloud. Imagine a very patient grandparent who is happy to listen with infinite patience to the child read aloud and is capable of pronouncing any word correctly. That's a pretty good model of the reading tutor component of RoboTutor. Tunda. Tunda. Moja. Why should the average person care? The average person should care if they have a heart. If they care about kids growing up by the hundreds of millions without learning how to read. If they care about kids missing out on all the things that you can do and learn about if you read. There are lots of books with lots of wonderful things to learn about in the course of a lifetime. Living without that is a blighted existence. I think the vision of a technology-enabled, world-class education for every child on the planet is inspiring and feasible enough to be worth pursuing. I don't know whether I will live to see that vision, but it would certainly feel great to be able to help get closer to it. Oh, Tanzania, oh yeah.